Hello everyone, this is Sun Sun Duck 2, and welcome to another Fabric Mod Overview, this time on Simple Coordinates. This is a mod that adds the ability for you to write or remove coordinates using either a command method or a GUI method. We'll start with the command and then we'll go to the GUI after. And we've got two here to test with. So, with commands to add one, you just go write coordinate. You put the name of it, we'll just say coordinate 2, for example. Then we want details about it. This will be what the coordinates are. So we'll just say second coordinate. And then we want the positioning, I believe. Unless I'm missing something. Unless it is... Nope, so you don't have to put the coordinates, it'll still track it. With the GUI, you do have to do that. So, we'll actually check the GUI, and you can see that it's now added it. So you can view and remove these, no problem. Um, obviously, if we want to remove them the command way, we can do just that. And if we go to tab, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So, coordinate key... Uh, let's see, what else is there? So coordinate key, my guess, would be what I named it. Coordinates removed, and we'll check. And you can see that it hasn't done that, obviously, because it wasn't that. So we're going to want to put the full, which would be coordinate 2. And we'll see that it's now removed that one specifically. Now, since we are using the GUI, we'll demonstrate that. So you can see the details and the name text boxes or tabs there. And then you've got obviously the coordinates. So with the command one, it's very much shorter hand than this. Whilst with this one, we'll just go and type in here. So we'll just go chord three. We can tab here and go to just say any random one. Um, let's say 130 still. And the minus can sometimes be difficult to put in there. And then we'll go with, say, 80 or something. Oops, wrong one. And then we'll go with the Z coordinate of, say, 9, for example. Which you can't really see due to how the button's placed, but that's fine. And then, let's see. We'll just go third coordinate. And then we'll add it. It should work out. It technically is supposed to show up here, but it hasn't, so we'll try that again. Um, actually, we'll cancel if I can get out of here and refresh. So there's nothing there. You can see the information we've put. So we'll try that again. So we'll try creating a new one. We'll just go fourth chord. Go negative. Okay, so you have to put the number in first before you can put the negative, it seems. That's why I couldn't do it before. We'll go 80 again. We'll go tab and we'll go 5. And we'll go fourth coordinate here in the details. We'll add it. We'll click a bunch of times to see if it does anything. And it is supposed to do it, so I'm not sure why it isn't. But you can tell that it still works. And they obviously had this one created through the GUI before the. Um, besides the command one. And obviously you can remove them here if you want to as well. And refresh and it will show that there's none to remove now. Uh, to access the GUI, as there isn't actually a by default key binding, you do have to create your own. You can see there is the key binding here, like so, and if you remove it there isn't one. So you are going to need to add your own key binding to it. I just put right shift since it's one that usually fits situations like this where it's out of the way. Uh, other than that though, that seems to be pretty much it. Uh, I don't know of how to display them however on screen, so if I didn't want to have to constantly look at here and then type it in saying okay like I've done, it's just going 130, 80, and negative 5 or something, I wouldn't have to go to chat every so often, I would just have it where I write it down in a GUI with commands. My guess is that's what this is for. It's not for displaying a coordinate like element. So yeah, it's pretty much a coordinate list of sorts. 
other than that though, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.